all you splinterheads, welcome back. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. If at the end of the video you felt like you got anything out of it or you enjoyed it, please consider liking and subscribing. With that out of the way, um, I wanted to remake a video today. I did a video yesterday and released it and I had um, had incorrect video settings so it was slightly blurry but I left it up and I I posted it because I felt like I made some good points and perhaps people would glean something from it by just listening to it uh, you could still tell what was going on but you couldn't get uh, you know see exact cards perhaps but with that said um, in that video I went over my end of season and I opened the chest and everything but I didn't go that in depth into it so I wanted to take a few minutes make a shorter video today and just go ahead and go over my end of season and do some tallies on what I got out of last season okay so I'll take you back let's go ahead and start off uh, I do need to open my daily chests only two today uh, diamond since I stayed in diamond this last season let's go ahead and uh, open those up and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes of this video which is what I earned from last season okay so nothing exciting today which kind of summons up my sums up my last season 1.569 splinter shards and a common vampire bat okay with that said let's go over to my rewards page now um, let's pop up my totals and this is basically what I got out of last season uh, we'll go through it line by line uh, I did notice that my SPS um, while being in Diamond League uh, went up significantly the SPS earn of course that's beside the whole point of SPS actually the value you know going down um, over the last month but um, I'm not talking values here. The values uh, at the bottom, the total line, uh, was gathered from the values that Splex is reporting, and those are roughly, um, you know, because they fluctuate all over the place. Um, but I did want to point out that um, my total SPS earned over the last season has went up significantly um, comparing gold to going up to diamond. So, and that applies to the battle SPS too. I split those out because Splex does too. Um, but I also split those out because I wanted to point out that since I use a bot, they do take a percentage of my battle SPS. They do not take a percentage anymore uh, due to the recent change um, of the chest SPS and end of season uh, SPS. So, well, let me restate that. They don't take a percentage of my end of season chest. Okay. So anyway, with that said, I got almost 175 SPS and almost 78 battle SPS over the last season. Um, I got four packs out of chests and I did open those. Um, nothing nothing especially worth reporting there was one pack where I got four rares which was interesting but most of the other packs were just the standard one rare um, for common variety um, out of everything last season I did get 27 commons and one gold common and seven rares 137 gold potions 88 legendary potions and I uh, also worth reporting is my uh, going up into diamond I did see a large uh, a significant raise in merits earned so it may be that um, there was one day which I got a large amount of merits so this last day of the season um, I did get uh, 3,225 uh, 3, merits. So that might throw the curve off a little bit, but um, it's worth noting that my amount of merits went up significantly, and I was able to buy uh, that combined with my performance uh, with brawls. I was able to uh, buy uh, three different uh, packs uh, 
this season. Uh, I don't think I've, I think I've opened them all. Yeah, uh, was open was able to o um, open three different Gladius packs this season. So let's go back to the Splex page. And as you can see, uh, total roughly eleven and a half U.S. dollars. And of course, I always say roughly because um, the values of these things are mostly down lately. So, you know, here's hoping that the value goes back up um, on these items, as, especially as they go out of print. Um, so with that said, the last thing I really want to touch on uh, is the new legendary summoner that was announced. Um, and this is uh, Immortalis, and this will be the next one that's dropped. And it's got some interesting stats here. I've largely stayed away from the legendary summoners uh, as far as invest, uh, putting money towards them. I've stayed with my standard rare summoners. Um, just due to the fact that uh, I'm not sure how these are going to work out, especially this guy. He looks to, as as mentioned, I'll leave the uh, link in the show notes, but as mentioned in the verbiage on this page, he looks like he's a good counter to Obsidian, which is um, the rare uh, Chaos Legion uh, magic-based summoner, right? So... Originally, uh, when Chaos Legion dropped and we started seeing um, Obsidian was probably the most popular right out the gate. But then it gradually uh, fell down to Kelia, right? Um, and that has to do with, you know, how, how the actual uh, ha magic hands performed with it. Um, yeah. I can't tell you. I mean, this looks like an interesting summoner, um, but I don't know if I would throw a bunch of money into it right off the bat. Uh, I like to wait a little bit, see how they perform, and then perhaps uh, get in on one. But with that said, that is the next uh, drop to occur. Um, I don't know how close we are to it. Um, they do mention in the verbiage um, that it's, uh, you know, that they go over the fact that they are burning the packs on a daily basis and we'll get there um, pretty soon. Um, they also mentioned that this was designed by Psy Guy and the Immortal Gods group. Uh, so, anyway, it's interesting and it's always good to have new cards, uh, something interesting to play. So with that said, thanks for dropping by. Uh, I do appreciate it. I hope you have a happy and healthy new year. And I will see you on the flip side.